The glow in the dark Umbral Destiny camo is one of the best non-mastery camos in the game. So let's hop into zombies and go pick it up. And it shouldn't take us too long to unlock this. All we need to do is hop in game like we did with our Lockman Shroud, and we just need to get 20 kills without getting hit 10 times with it. And it's actually the inverse version of the camo we have on right here. This is the multiplayer camo you get for it. And this one also glows in the dark, as you can kind of see in the shadows here. But I like to give credit where credit is due, and I did not discover this myself. I saw this on Twitter from Madonna's HD. I hope I'm saying that right so shout out to them for putting me onto this camo but before we go grinding i need to go ahead and do a quick cargo contract because i don't have any self revives i don't have anything right now because last time i was playing this i was going on stream trying to defeat the red worm solo and the game did the most cruel thing to me possible and made me crash twice before fighting the red worm one time literally two seconds before it spawned in so shout out to those of you guys that came by the stream to watch me suffer i'm gonna solo that red worm one of these days it's gonna happen. All right, please self-revive. There we go. Now that we got our self-revive, we can go ahead and start this grind. And look how nice our camo looks in here. I can't wait to see the alternate version. Ew, is this thing a burst? Oh, that's gross. A burst SMG, are you kidding me? But outside of our 20 kills without getting hit 10 times, we might as well just go ahead and get this thing gold while we're at it. And to do that, we need to get 250 kills with this weapon. We also need to get 250 kills with this at rare or higher rarity. So let me add that on there. And we need 250 point blank kills, which might be a little tough with us trying to go for 20 kills without getting hit. But as long as we play a little safe, we should be all right. I brought decoys in here, but I already threw them trying to do the cargo contract, but our Aether Shroud should help out as well. So let me do that real quick. Let's get up close and personal with these guys. There's our Jackrabbit medal. Every time I see one of those pop up, I'm going to let a zombie hit me once to reset it. I don't know if that works, but it always feels like this camo takes way longer than it should. The glow on my gun is spreading. What happened? Actually, it kind of looks sick. We get a little alternate camo already. But back to what I was talking about with the Red Worm earlier. Like, I know I, I say some things like, oh, the, the game's listening to me. It's out to get me. Or like, I, I blame the camo curse a lot. And, you know, I have a lot of people saying that I'm just like superstitious or I'm just dumb or ass at the game. And all of those things could be true. But you cannot deny the evidence of my game crashing literally one frame before the worm is about to spawn that somebody isn't fucking with me over at Activision. I didn't even get to see the fucking worm. Are you kidding me? We're gonna have to fight another fucking time. That's crazy. Something's going on over there. It's way too fishy, but I'm not gonna let that stop me. I won't rest until I kill that worm on my own. And I still need to get that legendary Aether tool schematic from him. Throw a quick decoy, get on there. That way I can just Aether Shroud and get my point blanks up. Oh, you slapped me, you bitch. Bastard, dude. Those hellhounds aren't helping either. Also, I don't even know if this is the best build for it. I kind of made it more for movement speed because it doesn't look like a whole lot of things increase the damage on this. But here's the build I'm using for my Lockman Shroud. Is there a different firing mode on this? I'm sick of burst. Can we do semi-auto? Oh, we can. I think that might be worst. Yeah, I'm going back to burst. I don't know what it is, but I, burst weapons just annoy me. I think it's just because I'm impatient and I don't want to sit here like and keep tapping the, the trigger. I just want to be able to hold it down and slay through a horde of zombies. Oh, there's one camo. That was our 250 kills. We should be close on our rare rarity kills as well. Point blanks might take a minute though. Oh, 250 kills with rare. Come on, we got to be close now. There's a level up. Is that our camo? Nope, way to fake me out, game. An insta-kill though. I'll take that. This will speed it up. As long as I'm not running through hellhound fire like a genius. Damn, stupid ass hellhound. Okay, maybe it's not going to be that easy. Especially with my room temperature IQ. But at least it's better than trying to get like half a million or 1.2 million XP for a camo. Although those event camos are fun to get. I won't lie. Most of them look pretty good too. There are some that look terrible though. I won't lie. I'm an honest man. Oh, there it is. We got it. Perfect. All right, now let's just knock out these close range kills or point blanks. And it'll be good to exfil. This is a very minor thing, but I feel like I have to bring this up because I haven't really seen anybody else talk about it. But have you guys noticed since the start of season two in zombies hellhounds when they spawn, they don't have like their little fire flash around them anymore, like the little ball of fire that they come out of. They're kind of just curled up like a little hellhound fetus in the air until they drop. Oh, like this right here. Did you guys see that? It's just they're curled up in a ball like a little Bakugan. Okay, there's no way we're not close to getting done with these. Oh, actually another contract, so I hope we're close. There's a level up. Camo? Nope. 
fooled again. At least give me some good loot for that. Nope. Impossible for this game to do that. Well, at least we're right by an exfil. Should be able to get these done right here. Oh, there it is. We got it. All we got to do is get out of here to get gold. And there's all of our camos. Let's go see what this bad boy looks like. In the camo menu, it might not look the greatest, but in game, it looks beautiful. It's very vibrant. The only thing I really don't like about it is the secondary orange color on there. But put it on some different weapons, which you can do with this camo. It looks really nice. Like here on the PDSW, it looks beautiful. There's a lot more space here to put the stars on. And it almost makes the secondary color look cell shaded with how it's scratched. And I also toss it on this BP50 black cell skin where it only shows the stars. The secondary color is completely covered by the blueprint. It just looks like a dark sky with only these purple stars. Oh, it's really bright when you get into here. It's not even that dark. Does it get activated by the sun? This is crazy. Hold on. There's got to be a darker area in here. That's crazy. It's so bright. Why is it like this in zombies? But when I'm in a private match, it don't look like this. Damn. But I went ahead and hopped into another zombies game because we might as well just get the spinal husk. I see no reason not to. And I can go ahead and try out this method of meleeing the pack a punch machine and then using the crystal. Oh, so we have it pack one and we didn't lose our camo. Beautiful. But it's so bright in here. You can see it reflecting off the walls and the stairs. This is sweet. You can even see all the little sparkles sprinkled throughout the orange. Oh, a tier three vest. Give me that. Now I just need a legendary backpack and we're all set. Oh, look at this game treating me right. And an extra three plate. Let's grab this Outlast contract and get this camo done. But I've been trying to work towards Bioluminescent a little slowly, I'll admit. But I'm at about 12 weapons, Spinal Husk. Out of the 51 we need to start working on Arcadia, I think it's called. Uh, MW2's Serpent Tonight camo. But I'm hoping along the journey we find some more sleeper camos like this. Because MW2 had a lot of sleeper camos. A lot of nice base camos that were sometimes better than a lot of the masteries. I even made a few videos on them. Like MW2 had the solid color camos, you know, before they decided to nerf them completely like desaturate a bunch of them but sledgehammer tried to kind of alleviate that they brought in the bold color camos which is a little bit of a nicer version of the solid colors or kind of reminiscent of what they were like pre-nerf we also had just like a lot of really nice like patterns and designs and a lot of good like vibrant colors as well so maybe there's some good zombies versions of the camos from last year and just like i always do i forgot that i'm not supposed to end this contract we gotta go find another one this actually might be the perfect spot for grinding the zombies can't push me from behind. They're all going to come from these two doors or spawn right there. This is the outlast that's right over here by the beach in the resort. There's just like old times in Colonel's office on Firebase. I just had to say something. Now there's like no zombies spawning at all. This game loves to fuck with me. Oh, wait, here we go. I think they're coming back. I changed my mind. This is actually the spot right here next to this elevator. We should be able to get Spinal Husk on this in no time. Oh, there it is. Speak of the devil. All right, let's end this contract and get out of here. We got all we need to do done. There's our outlast. Give me something good for that. Nope. Good loot does not exist. But that's all I wanted to show you guys today. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.